Hello, welcome back to my channel, Billy X Luxury. So today's video is a bit of like a story time about my Hermes journey and why it has come to such an abrupt end, why it's over, why I'm done, um, and now why I feel, you know, pretty much like gutted. I feel like I've just wasted all this time, all this money, and now I just don't even know where I stand. Pretty much in this video, I'm going to go through my entire Hermes journey. First of all, I'm going to show you everything I've ever bought from Hermes. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my relationship with my essay, how I found her. And then towards the end of the video, then we're going to get into what actually happened, why my journey is over um, and what I'm even going to do from here. So we'll start off with, first of all, all of my purchases to date. My first ever purchase at Hermes was the Click Clack bracelet that everyone knows. It's kind of like your beginning Hermes piece. Everyone sort of starts with a Click Clack bracelet. It is fashion jewelry. So that's where I started. The second piece of jewelry that I got from Hermes was actually purchased from my partner, but put under my name so that I could start to sort of get a bit of a profile. So this hinged bracelet was actually my second purchase. At the same store as I got this bracelet, I then asked for a mini Evelyn. I approached the store, I emailed them, I said, I really want to start my Hermes journey. I want to start with a mini Evelyn if I could get one in like a neutral color, like black or um, like a gold, you know, one of the neutrals, Etor, Etain, one of those sort of ones, or I said, I really like pink. So I was actually really lucky to be able to score a black mini Evelyn at that store where my bracelet was from. So this is not the store that I shop in now. This is a different store. This store is sort of like an hour away. So I just really wanted to get this bag there because I thought I've already got this bracelet there. So, you know, I'll continue my journey at that store. But when I went to get this one, I do actually have a Dior strap on it at the moment, not the strap that it comes with. But when I went to get this one, I, I kind of felt like a bit nervous going into the store because you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I'd watch heaps of videos on Hermes shopping, but you know, when you're first starting your journey, you just don't really know, you know, where to even start. So I happened to get this really young SA, younger than me, that served me for this. She pretty much was like, I don't know, she was kind of a bit abrupt. Like you have to build a relationship if you want to get any sort of, um, you know, if you want to get any bag offers, you really need to, she kind of put the hard word on me, really. She pretty much made it out like I was so lucky to even be able to buy this bag and that because that wasn't my local store and the fact that you need to come in regularly, you need to make regular purchases, you need to keep up your relationship with your SA, it's probably not the store for me and I probably should go to the one that is closer to me. So I was like, okay, like, I don't know. I just was like, okay, whatever. Like, I'm glad I got this bag, but I don't feel any sort of connection with her. And I didn't really sort of feel any warmth or anything at all with her. So I changed to the other store, which is closer. It's about 20 minutes from where I live. So more convenient for me, but I didn't have a profile there. So I thought I'm going to have to start again there now with a new essay, even though I've just bought a bag and got a bracelet recently. I did ask her to put me down for a sushi plate in the Mosaic uh, AU24 print and I've never heard from her again. Okay, fast forward to the other store. I asked for recommendations on a Facebook high-end group about does anyone have an essay at this other store? I want to start purchasing there. I've never been in there. I don't know anyone there and I want a sushi plate. So here is the sushi plate that I'm talking about. Somebody actually gave me the details of their essay. So I contacted her and said, you know, I'm after the sushi plate and a couple of other things, you know, that are on my wish list. And she pretty much said, you know, you need to come into store to do a wish list. I can't really help you over emails. 
So I went into store. I ended up being able to pick up this one because they had them in stock, whereas the other store didn't. And this was my first purchase with my essay. When I went in to make that purchase of the sushi plate, I pretty much came out with it and was like, how do I get a quota bag? I'm completely new to this. Uh, what is the lowdown basically? How, you know, what do I do? How, do? how do I get my hands on a Birkin or a Kelly? Or I really wanted a Picatin, you know, anything really. I said, I've just bought this mini Evelyn from the other store and they sort of said, oh, I should shop at this store because it is closer. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so she sort of explained to me about building a relationship with your essay, shopping regularly. Um, she didn't mention anything about spend or categories or anything, but you know, that's kind of like known now, you know, when you do a bit of research, you start to learn, but they don't say that to you actually to your face. They sort of more work around the like build a relationship with the essay kind of angle. So the next thing I asked for, I inquired about this little plate so it is in the mosaic au 24 gold collection the same as my sushi plate i also asked for a sushi plate exactly the same but in the i think it's platinum or silver coloring which has never come it's been like a year now so the next thing i inquired about was this little one now, when she messaged me to say that it had come in, I wasn't expecting it to be this tiny. So legit, it's like the size of the palm of my hand. I mean, it is like the tiniest thing ever. And it was like 200 and something dollars. And when I went in and when she showed it to me, I was like, oh, like it is so small. I was not expecting it to be that small, but I kind of felt obliged to buy it because she had called me and said that they had one for me. It's not even like I really asked for it. I didn't say, could you please put this on my wish list? I just inquired about it. But the way she kind of said it to me was like, I've got this in for you. When are you gonna come and pick it up? So I really felt obliged to buy it. But now I do really like it. I use it for my rings. I put my engagement ring and my other rings on it. So I'm happy with it now. But at the time I was like, holy shit, like this is the tiniest, tiniest little thing I've ever seen for like 200 and something dollars. I really just tried to keep in contact with her at least sort of once a month. I kind of have heard from other people that that's like the sweet spot for staying on top of their mind, you know, and um, them remembering you and remembering your wish list, etc. So the next time I went in, I actually bought this cushion. I sent her a message and said, do you have this cushion in this like caramel sort of color? Um, I'd like to buy one. And then she wrote back to me, I've actually put two away for you. Um, when can you come in and get them? And I'm like, oh, I don't want two, I just want one. I didn't, you know, I feel like I didn't ask for two. I just said, do you have this cushion? I want to buy one. So I ended up then having to write back and be like, oh, I actually only want one of them. Um, I can come in on this date. So I kind of feel like there's like little tactics to try and make you buy things that you didn't quite say I actually want or like the quantity that you that you want, you know, and you wanted one, but I kind of felt like, oh, if I say no to two, is that going to affect my chances? Like you just, it's just, there's just so much unknown in the Hermes world that if you say no to something, does that mean that you're not going to get an offer or you're not, they're not going to help you or they're going to be disappointed or, you know, so like, I don't even know, but I, I knew I didn't want two cushions. I only wanted one. So I said, I'll come and buy one. On that visit, I did want to try on the Oran sandals and I did actually buy a pair as well in the gold color on that shopping trip when I got the cushion. Now I have had such a time trying to break these things in. They have been really uncomfortable and really painful. I actually did a whole video about this on my channel. So I will pop it here and I will put it in the description below. Everything that I've mentioned today in my video, all of the items that I've bought, most of them I have done 
video unboxings or reviews and things like that on them. So if you want to check out any of those videos, they'll all be linked in the description and I will attach a few above. Anyway, yeah, so uncomfortable for ages. Now I feel like I've sort of got them molded to my feet and worn in okay. So now they are definitely getting more comfortable, but I mean, I've been working on this for months and it has taken a really, really long time to get them to the point that they are now. I have to excuse my red neck. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, so I had continued asking for, you know, Picatin. I, I tried not to bring up the quota bags, although sometimes when I would go in, she would just make, you know, a statement like, I'm still trying to work on those bags for you. I'm trying to get you, you know, your wish list bags, even though I wouldn't say anything. Cause I thought, I don't want to just like constantly bring this up and her think I'm just, that's all I'm about is trying to get a Birkin or a Kelly. So I was like, I really would love a Picatin. The picatin has been on my wish list for a couple of months now. Um, is there any way that you are able to get me one? She said, I do have some coming in in about a month's time and uh, hopefully I'll be able to offer you one of those. And then she offered me a Kelly to go, which is like a wallet on chain in uh, Epsom leather in the color Etoupe. So I was like, yes, oh my God, I'll totally buy that. Even though it's, it was nothing that was on my wish list. I bought that. Uh, the next thing was, then she offered me the Picatin. So after a couple of months in, then I was able to actually get the Picatin in one of the colors that I had asked for. I asked for pink or neutrals. So I'll show you that bag now. I had told her that I really love gold hardware, but the Picatin that she offered me actually has palladium hardware, which is fine because I feel like the palladium goes really, really nice with the pink. She then said, would you be interested in a color coordinating uh, Rodeo charm? And I was like, of course. So she said, I'll try really hard to get you one. So maybe like a month later after that, I ended up picking up this little beauty in the same color mauve Sylvester. So I was just absolutely stoked after this. I just felt like, you know, she'd really listened to me. She'd really come through with what, you know, I had asked for, what was on my wish list, And I really had high hopes that, you know, she was gonna come through on all the other bags that I had asked for. So from now, I kind of expanded my wish list. obviously Kelly Birkin, but then I said I would be interested in the Della, which is like their new bag, the Della Cavalleria, I think it's pronounced. And then I said after that, I would really love a mini Lindy, but obviously I would like to get these other bags before I bought a mini Lindy. The next time I popped in, I bought perfume. A few weeks after that, I bought some makeup because they then released the makeup line. So I had bought four nail polishes, a lipstick and a blush. After that, I kind of felt like, oh, I really need to step up my game here, doing a lot of research about the different categories that they like people to buy in. And I thought I probably now need to buy something in silks because I hadn't bought anything in silks yet. And then I thought I probably need to buy something in fine jewelry. And then I started looking at watches. So the next thing that I bought was actually uh, three scarves. So I'll show you those. So in the lead up to me going in and picking up these silks, I had started asking her about watches and fine jewelry because I thought, you know, I just really need to like up my game here. I need to let her know that I'm serious and that I like really, really want to quote her back because it's been almost a year and I feel like I've bought a lot of things and now my bags are just kind of stopped. I've asked for quite a lot of different ones and the only one that um, she had gotten that was on my wish list was the Picatin. So I went in and to pick up a couple of scarves. So I'll show you the ones that I actually got. So I picked up this one. I framed them myself actually. So if you want to know how I did that, I have done a whole video on how I framed them myself using these frames that only cost me $30. So there's this one and there's this one. I actually got this one as well in navy and gold. I will insert a picture of that as well for you. 
but I had to buy that from a different store. I asked her for it and she said, you know, this, we don't have any, but this other store has them, but they won't do interstore transfers. So you're going to have to buy it off them. And I was a bit like, I don't really want to buy from another SA because I just knew that wouldn't go on my, you know, profile with her. It wouldn't help my getting offered a quota bag with her if I bought from another store, but it was a scarf that I really, really wanted. So I ended up doing that. So when I went in to pick up these scarves, I actually was having a look at watches and fine jewelry and sort of having a look around the whole store. I saw the different scarves and I was like, yes, I'll take them. And then she literally dropped a bomb on me as soon as I said, you know, I'll buy two more scarves today. She said, I just want to let you know I have finished my degree um, in my chosen field. She told me what it was, but obviously I'm not going to um, talk about that. But I've gotten a job in that area and I'm going casual here. And I literally just was like, what? What does that mean? Like, what, is it, what does that mean? Does that mean, you know, like you're not going to be able to get bags or like I'm not going to be able to get all these things on my wish list or are you still even going to be able to look after me like what happens from here and how often are you going to be here you know she said I'll probably be here mostly on the weekends you can either still um I can still help you I can still definitely get you um the things on your wish list like I can try and get you the bags that you're after and you know I can definitely still help you but I won't be here as often so it might be like a bit of a wait between you know being able to get things but I will still be able to help you or you can um, go with another guy in the store she told me but like I had a couple of experiences with him and I just wasn't really impressed like I rung up one day about wanting something he said he would call me back and then I never ever heard from him again so a couple of times I had experience with him in store I just was like I'm not really impressed I just want to go with her because she's really good really attentive she replies really fast you know she's really she was a really good essay so anyway I left there thinking oh okay it's gonna all be fine she's still gonna be able to get me these things on my wish list fast forward you know, a couple of weeks sort of going into like a month or two now, I've never heard from her again. A couple of the things that I had inquired about, like a pair of shoes and a plate, I've had other people from within the store contact me saying, oh, I'm contacting you on behalf of my essay. Uh, she had you down for these um, shoes and this plate that they're on your wish list. Are you still interested in them? And I was like, oh, is she not working there anymore? Like, is she, what, like, why are you calling on behalf of her, you know? And they said, no, she's still working, but she's not here until Sunday. So she said, I've, I assume she's probably only working like Sundays. So I said, you know, oh, I'll just wait until I hear from her on Sunday, you know, and sort it out with her. Sunday came, never heard from her. And I'm thinking, she's got something there that she knows that I want. Why, why hasn't she sent me a text or why haven't I heard from her? You know, so then the time sort of passed by and I've just never heard from her again. I still like, I'm kind of like, does she even still work there? Like, I don't, I don't know. Haven't heard anything. Previous to that, when I went in to get the silks, there was a Della bag on display because I always have these bags that I want on display but you know, reserves sign on them. She said to me, I'm trying to get you that Della up there, but it is on hold for a customer, but I'm pretty certain she's not gonna take it. So give me two days and I'll let you know. And I got really excited and I was like, oh, cause she pretty much made out like, oh, the person doesn't really, really want it. So it's pretty much probably yours, but I'll let you know in two days. Anyway, never, heard anything about the Della bag again. I did message her that day saying, oh, I really hope, you know, you can acquire that bag for me because I'd really, really love it. And then just nothing, you know, never ever mentioned it ever again. I've asked for uh, numerous things from her, 
like um, rodeo charms, Pegasus charms, all these things like after that and just nothing, no contact. So now I'm like at the point where I've been shopping with this person for almost a year. Now I feel like they're pretty much non-existent in the store. Haven't heard from her at all again after buying the silks. I did write on um, a Facebook page that I'm part of. We sort of discuss a lot of Hermes stuff on there. You know, this is what's happened. This is what she said to me. Do you think I should buy a watch through her or do you think there is absolutely no point because, you know, she's probably not going to get offered any bags to be able to offer to clients now that she barely works in the store. And pretty much everyone's responses were like, I don't think you should buy a watch through her because now that she's barely there, she's not really going to have much input into the store. The store manager is very unlikely to probably give her these quota bags to be able to offer to her clients. So there's just, you know, probably no point in spending any more money with her because I don't think you're going to get anywhere. So that's it really. I've spent almost a year with this essay, building a pretty good relationship with her, you know, buying things consistently sort of every month, buying a variety of different categories, talking to her about all these different categories and, you know, my wish list, putting things on my wish list. And then really the only bags she's come through in like a year are my uh, Kelly to go and my Pickerton and that's it. And now like the tap has pretty much been turned off and now I don't know where I stand now I haven't even heard from her about the items that they're saying that they have in store for me I don't want to now go and buy through somebody else because I'm I don't even know anyone else in the store to be honest I only dealt with her and you know the other guy that I wasn't really very impressed with and now I'm like do I just disappear off the face of the earth now that you know she's not there i don't get given to somebody else i don't i just have to start all over again and i just feel like i'm gutted by it i don't really want to start all over again i kind of felt like some of these things i only really just bought to try and keep the relationship going and keep you know some like the little tiny plate that i was like that is so tiny i don't really even want to buy this but I kind of feel obliged to buy it because you've said that, you know, you have it for me, things like that. And then now look where I am, nowhere basically. The spend that is required in Australia and probably a lot of other countries, I feel like is phenomenal. And I feel like I've already spent so much that I just don't, I don't think I have it in me to then go and start all over again with somebody else so i just i don't know i don't know what to do i feel like the spend is becoming more and more i feel like you need to buy more and more and more to be able to be offered these amazing dream bags and i just feel like i'm not in a position to start this whole thing again now i know you know essays come and they leave they're people like us they're entitled to leave their job, you know, but for a customer that's been working with somebody for a period of time, it's really, really disappointing when they leave and then you feel like you have nobody to look after you and what do you even do? So has anyone had this happen to them? Has anyone experienced this sort of thing? Have you then started with a new SA? What do I do? What do I do from here? I don't even know. So yeah. That's it. That's why my journey has come to an abrupt end. Not by any fault of my own, not, you know, by any other reason other than she wants to go on a different career path. But now I just have no essay and I don't know what to do. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have experienced anything like this. What did you do? Did you just start with a new essay? Did you have to do the whole thing all over again? I'm really interested to know other people's experiences when this sort of thing happens. 
please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join me here. I upload videos every single week about my designer handbags and my jewelry, unboxings, reviews, likes, dislikes, everything really to do with luxury. So if that's the sort of thing you like to watch on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. If you give me a thumbs up on this video, it will be recommended to more people. When you like videos, it gets then shown out to more people. So that would be really cool if you would do that. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new weekly video. So that's it guys. That's my experience with Hermes to date. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice weekend. See ya.